Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam, and in this video, I'm gonna be planting five autumn ivory Encore azaleas. In a video a few weeks ago, which I'll link below, I planted these autumn bonfire Encore azaleas. Absolutely beautiful. They've been blooming all fall. It's into the early November now, and I'm in zone 7B. It's a little later than they should be blooming. We should have probably had a little bit more cold to knock them back at this point, but they've been just absolutely stunningly beautiful all fall. And these whites will complement these reds very nicely. Autumn Ivory has a pure white flower. This variety blooms three times a year. It stays a little smaller than some of the other varieties. It'll get about two and a half feet tall and about three feet wide, which will be perfect over here. And it'll complement these autumn bonfires really nicely. Uh, this will be extremely showy three times a year over here. I may find a low growing blue annual or perennial to put below here and have a very patriotic theme in this uh, corner. I'm gonna be putting a patio out here in front of this uh, next year. so. This should be a nice compliment to that patio. One thing I wanted to point out before I started planting over here, this is something you may find, especially in new construction. My house has been here a long time, but I don't think I had ever dug back here where two of these uh, Encore azaleas are going. It's just pure sand right there. My lot is almost entirely clay. My guess is, is when the builder was in the process of doing something here, they pushed some soil out of the way over here or pushed some building materials out of the way over here but this was almost pure sand. Normally you'll see me put pine bark soil conditioner into the clay just to break it up. It's the same stuff that most of these shrubs are grown in. And it's great for keeping that clay from recompacting, but back here in this sandy piece, I actually use some compost and I'm gonna mix that in 50-50. I don't have to do a lot of watering in my yard. Typically this clay does a pretty good job of holding water between rains, but that space back there, I think the plants could end up in trouble if it became dry for a long period of time. So I, like I say, I am amending it with some compost where you'd normally see me using pine bark soil conditioner. I already dug the holes a little over two times the width of the containers. I just dug it to the depth of the container and I'm actually gonna put some of that soil mix back in the bottom so that I end up raising these up a little bit. That's kind of important on azaleas and camellias and rhododendrons that we leave them elevated just a little bit. I'll pull the soil up to the edge of that. And then I'm gonna put my old pine straw back and then I've got a fresh bale or two here if I need it to dress it up. A couple other things on these Encore azaleas. I picked this space, it's along a wood line here and it's gonna get absolutely blasted with sun moving this way over the top of them, probably till about one, maybe even two o'clock in the afternoon. And then they're gonna be in the shade in the late day and in the evening, it's an absolutely perfect space. I have a low pH or acid soil in my yard and they definitely prefer that. I won't fertilize them now when I'm planting them, but in the early spring or late winter, I will hit them with an azalea camellia rhododendron fertilizer. Those are special fertilizers for acid loving plants like these. This autumn ivory Encore azalea would work great in a container. It has just that perfect little low dome size that makes it a really nice container plant without having to do a lot of maintenance on it. So I'm gonna to get to planting. Thank you very much for watching this video. And if it was helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for future videos. Azaleas have very fine root systems. And if you find that there's a lot of them on the edge, you can just use your fingertips and run across them just to loosen them up just a little bit. That's usually totally adequate on these.